I bet you don't realize how you try to eat healthy, you try to stay away from things like fast food and all these highly processed foods. All the while, what you're eating and drinking is actually putting tons of chemicals, tons of toxins, and actually tons of drugs in your body. Now, why do I say that? Let's jump into uh, a several videos, but today's video is going to be based on just a few little details that you should be watching out for. And the sad thing is, I don't know if we can trust any source that's providing us quote unquote food anymore, especially if we're not getting it local or growing it ourselves. Let's jump into today's video. I think it's gonna be a good one and I think it's gonna be eye-opening for you and also for me. Our goal is to gain wisdom to figure out how we can raise our families better. And I hope this video helps. This video starts right now. Hey guys, welcome to The Max. Thank you so much for being here today. Uh, hey, we have a giveaway in this video. We're gonna release two names of seeds that we're gonna be giving away for fall so you can be growing your gardens. Uh, these two people I comment on our videos, they're subscribed. All it takes for you to enter this each and every month, we give away at least one or two gifts each month for free. All you have to do is be subscribed to both channels, comment that you're subscribed, and it puts you into the drawing. We hope that you enjoy our content. Our goal is hopefully to work together to build a sustainable life and be better at it. Today's information was, was really a downer to me. It kind of gave me a negative connotation because I was thinking, you know, who can we trust when it comes to our food? We buy food from these grocery stores or from these manufacturers. We uh, buy food from overseas and our goal is to trust what we're getting as good quality food and water. Now, it's amazing to me because if I choose to try to sell my milk or my butter here in Mississippi, it's illegal. You can't do that because of regulatory bodies. Every amount of food that you get in your body has been overregulated, all for the fact of saying it's supposed to be for your health. The question is, I don't know if it's for our health or if it's for their tax benefit or their money or control. So every ounce of food and water that you take into your body has been regulated, quote unquote regulated, and been passed with some kind of licensure or approval to give to you. And as I said, this is gonna be kind of like a part one to a lot of uh, other foods that we're gonna be talking about. But let's just talk simple. Processed meat and let's talk water. Now those are two very different things. However, they're two main staples in everyday life for everyday Americans. Number one being processed meat. Now processed meat, I'm not talking about, you know, you have your own hamburger meat, you process your own hamburger meat. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about steak that you're marinating that's not called processing meat. I'm talking about processed meat, such as deli hams, such as hot dogs, things like that, especially when it comes to things like hot dogs. And then we'll jump into water, but let's start with meats first. So let's just take hot dogs and hams. Now again, I think if you dove into your food a lot more, you saw the food pyramid and all the junk that they push on you, especially with all this regulation, you would see that this food system is causing you a lot more health problems than actually helping you instead of buying from the local guy down the road or growing your own food. What is the main preservative when it comes to any kind of highly processed meat? It's nitrate. It's something that we put in our food that's supposed to make the food last longer. Uh, you know your ham? Do you realize ham is not pink? You know, I, we have hogs. I love eating hog. Uh, I know people talk about, oh, I don't eat pork. I love pork. I love bacon, love sausage. But if you get a ham off a pig it's not pink it's just like every other part of the animal it's the the chemicals that we place on it and the curing processes and not good curing processes but the curing process we put on the ham to then turn around and give it to you at the supermarket the thing about these kind of chemicals that go in our diets is a lot of times they're not tested really well. They do simple studies, they get the government approval, and you actually don't know the ramifications of some of the things that we put in our body till 50 to 60 to 70 to 80 years later, and then we realize, oh crap, this is not good for us anymore. So the pinkness and the coloration and the preservative of what nitrate does to your food is it makes it last longer. Oh, and you're like, oh wow, as a prepper, that's a good thing. Well, what is nitrate actually doing to our bodies? Very bad for us, it's carcinogenic. Studies show that nitrate causes a lot of colon and rectal cancers, which again, digestively going through our system is not good. What is amazing, in the 70s and 80s, 
nitrate actually was almost banned because of the danger that it was causing to a lot of people getting sick and also the fact that they realized there it was toxicity uh, and it was not good for us to take into our body we could go back to the old ways of using salt sugar and truly brining or curing the meat more natural however they wanted to be shelf stable so the meat industry really pushed hard on processed meats and making sure this lobby can stay strong and get nitrate to stay in our foods. In the 70s and 80s, some of the biggest players in processed meats were nominated to leadership in the government. So guess what? They got pushed under the wayside. Now you're starting to see more foods stay away from nitrates, but it's still in most of your foods that you're eating, especially when it comes to processed meats. So you are actually taking in a toxin in the name of preservative that's actually causing you more harm and it's gonna make you more sick over time. So if this is a big part of your diet, you need to be looking at ways to get away from eating this highly processed foods. Now that was just ham, let's jump into hot dogs. A study shown in California linked leukemia to hot dog consumption with children. So it's dangerous to our kids. What is one of the biggest things that we eat, especially when we're on the go or with our children? It's hot dogs. With this overly processed food, and I, I, I use the food term very loosely, because this is not food. It's a bunch of byproducts tied in with a bunch of chemicals to make this gelatinous style meat that all of a sudden is supposed to be good for you. A lot of brain cancers, leukemia, and rare cancers in children have been linked back to hot dog consumption. Do your research. You don't have to trust me. Just do your research. Do you actually think those hot dog weenies are good for you? I don't think anybody would say that. Well, did you see that video the other day with Mitt Romney saying he loves hot dogs? That was a weird video, by the way. So here's the kickback on it. Well, we need cheap food that lasts a long time. That's exactly why people eat deli ham and hot dogs. They're on the go, they're running, they're busy, and it's quick and easy, cheap food. But do you see how regulation has allowed things to happen? They've allowed preservatives to go into food. They've allowed byproducts and all these, these deadly toxins, carcinogenic toxins into your food because there's been lobbyists pushing, saying, hey, it's safe and healthy. Knowing it's not, there are studies out there that shows it's actually not good for you. But they're not going to take those studies up because the money is so deep and the corruption is so deep. We talk about the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA. Well, we can't, again, cannot sell our local milk off farm that, that's raw and very good for you because of regulation. We can't sell just our beef. We can't just literally slaughter a beef and give it to somebody here on farm. I can't sell it to them, give it to them because of regulation. It's not clean. Same way with chicken, same way with all this stuff, without some kind of permits and some kind of regulation. So that food went from farm to table. That's how it's always been done. And that food to farm to table, then to consumption, there's no extra preservatives needed in that. When I do bacon and I do sausage, or I do some kind of link sausage, not hot dogs, but when I do something like that, I'm using salt, sugar, celery, and a lot of other things, coriander, and the list goes on. Why do we do that? Because it's natural nitrates. It's natural foods that is giving preservatives. It's not chemical-laced preservatives. So why do we see unhealthy people? Why do we see obesity? Why do we see diabetics? Why do we see uh, cancers and heart disease? What's well, based on the food that we're taking in our body that's laced full of toxins all because we allowed lobbyists to have such inroads in law. And so now law is passed for deregulation on the big businesses and more regulation on the small farms. That is a broken food system, putting you more vulnerable. And so therefore you have to be on more drugs and more prescriptions to heal all the crap that the bad food has cost you. So it's amazing, you're taking in food to fill your body, to hopefully be healthy, to then turn around and take more medicine and to heal your body from all the junk that you put in it. Isn't that crazy? That just blows my mind. So ham, hot dogs, things like that, it's a cheap economic food, but let's look for different versions of that. More natural, more organic. If you could buy ham from a farm, it's not gonna be pink, it's gonna be definitely more brownish color. If you're seeing food that's not just completely pink, that might be because it actually is a good food. It's not colored. So be careful of hot dogs, processed meats. Now lastly, just a quick uh, talk on water because we're gonna jump into a big water video soon. With all the people that's on these drugs, with all the people that's on these prescriptions, with all the people that is now passing into the septic tanks, 
Studies show that prescriptions and drugs, a lot of times cities and municipalities that is treating the sewage and septic and all the water, the wastewater, that's now going back into filtration to then go in, into your body because you're drinking the tap water. It's actually still laced with a bunch of toxins or it's laced with a bunch of medication that's been used by all the people in your neighborhood. So now when you're trying to clean up your diet and drink water and you're trying to stay off prescriptions, all the while your water may be just as tainted because of the filtration is not getting those prescriptions out. Governments and water treatments not being able to get all the stuff out of the water that's supposed to be out of the water. So then we get a push of why don't we buy bottled water? Well guess what? Most bottled water, if you look at the labels on them, most of them are bought from city municipalities uh, Nestle and Dasani and all those companies uh, they're giving you water and yes it's great to have a bottle of water here and there but they're actually they're actually buying the same city water and then selling it to you for thousands of percent more if you were wanting that water you could have just went to the tap and drank it and it would have been a lot cheaper but no you want to bottle it in chemical laced plastic to then turn around and drink in your body all in the name of health how much have you heard that i used to do it too i used to drink tons of water straight from these bottled waters and thinking oh this is healthy and actually it's not so what can we do when it's just like the hot dogs and ham it puts us in a precarious situation so if we're vulnerable to the chemicals and toxins the municipalities or cities or states can't afford the treatments or they simply cannot get all the chemicals out of the water think of PFOS you know all the stuff that was DuPont and 3M did when they were making Teflon that stuff is always with you it cannot get out of the water source naturally so we see toxins from manufacturers we see prescriptions for all the people that are on the prescriptions now getting into the water and therefore what can we do and all plastic bottled water is not good for you because it's in plastic bottled water how many times has that been molded heated before it got to you and you consume it so what are we to do so i, I love a well I, I think a well is one of the best investments you can make on your property but say you can't do a well so you buy water why don't you look at natural spring waters that have no extra additives also that could be in glass not plastic now is that a win all or is that the best answer it may not be but i think 50 years from now we're going to look back and say plastic was killing us we're going to see that nitrates still were killing us and we're going to see that we're inundated with lazy obese people that have so many health problems all because we didn't clean up our diets we were broken it's a broken food system we're going to be doing a lot of these over the next few weeks but don't you see just simply processed meat and water that those things are a big part of our diets on a normal basis just about in everyone's diet even the ones that are trying to be healthy maybe eating a turkey wrap and some water to drink the toxin load and the drugs and the chemicals in those is what's surprising so i, I challenge you to think through don't just say, hey, well, it's regulated, so it must be good for me. It's been approved by the government. It must be good for me. Be careful when you see those kind of labels. And if you can buy local or if you can grow your own food, you need to start, even if you're paying higher for it. The reason beef costs more than soybeans is because beef is not as subsidized as soybeans. And we're going to have a video on this, but that's why your vegan burgers, they're making hand over fist on your vegan burgers versus the meat burgers because it's a lot easier to make soybean burgers than beef now we're going to talk about plant-based hamburgers soon it's even more startling than the meat and the water guys hope this video helped i just want you to open your eyes to the fact of what's going on when it comes to your food and what you drink try to find natural holistic sources for everything that you put in your body so you won't have to be on the chemicals and drugs and the prescriptions that everyday americans seem like they have to live on now all right so now Wrapping this video up, we're going to have two winners. Two winners of the giveaways is going to be Kathy Shaw and Judy Inman. I'll put both of your names here. Uh, if you could reach out to us via email, you will be winning fall seed hauls. We will send these to you via mail. So we'll need your address and things like that. So reach out to us through the email so we can make sure that we get your seeds to you so you can have them for fall planting. We encourage you to grow your own food. We encourage you to buy local as much as you can and try to not buy everything from big box stores because we see there may be a lot more behind the food that you're getting, even though you think it's healthy, even though it says natural, holistic, or healthy on the packaging, doesn't actually mean what it says. Guys, thank you so much. Congratulations to the winners today. 